<laughs> so the, you were hopeful once. <laughs> One time. <laughs> What is, everyone? Welcome to Nerd on the Podcast. You didn't need, but you deserve. Where all levels of nerd are welcome. Yeah, you are. I, I, Today, I, I. we're talking about... <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Canceling the apocalypse. Uh, wow, I just yeah, got really intense. This is like a... We're having like kind of a loosey-goosey episode today. We're going to be talking yeah. about uh, the holidays. In the sky. And all that kind of thing. But before we get too far into it, my name is Corey. I'm Caitlin. Ollie. I'm Tom. And I am Josh. And this episode is brought to you in part by the members of the Nerd on Nation that is powered by... Patreon. Patreon. Wow. As a member of the, the Nerd On Nation. Yeah. <laughs> as a member of the Nerd On Nation, you do get fun stuff like bonus episodes what? and early access to episodes so and much fun. early access to merch and discounts on merch and a lot of fun stuff like a Discord server where you can talk to us and other other fans. What are you doing? Basically, he's messing with you want to saturate oh, yourself yeah. well, in everything Nerd On. Yeah. You're going to want to head over to nerdon.tv or and, you can just go straight to nerdon.io slash Patreon. And, he, and here's the deal. Here's the deal. The members Give of the Nerdon straight, Nation Josh. are pretty dope. And yeah. Some might say the dope best. The dope best. Um, and there's some really fun conversations that go on there, go on in there. And it's sometimes there is a personal channel and people will air their air their dirty laundry. And it's kind of fun to see people connect and yeah. do all that. Hey, that Ollie, jazz. don't you ever wish that you oh, no. had a place to oh, talk God. about the things that you love? Here's a, here's a no. Here's a problem. Somebody actually said to yeah, Tom that, that they, they like appreciate the, the way that he reads. It was, a, and you know who it was? A fucking nerd on nation man. But speaking of <laughs> reading, Tom, where do you read comics? Man, it's the holidays. <laughs> Sometimes it gets cold, and I just wish I had an opportunity to catch up on my favorite stories from my favorite characters. But sometimes I don't have. The chance to go to my favorite comic book store. Too cold out there. So sometimes I just use my handy dandy a smart device, favorite whether smart it's device. A, a computer, an iPad, or a phone, or a droid, or a droid, or a, a I don't know whatever uses Comixology. I think the favorite. razor's back. Yeah, <laughs> have a razor. Whatever uses Comixology, because through nerdon.io backslash Comixology, I can get my favorite comic books. And then some would say it's the internet's number one source of comic books. Da -da -da. Oh, no. And then, da -da -da. And then also, <laughs> wait, 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 for it. Wait, wait for it. Until December 31st, you can get $5 off a purchase of $15 or more with Nerd on 5. Da -da -da. There it is. Perfect. Uh, I and think we nailed that. We could read stories yeah, such good. as House of X or Powers of 10 or Klaus for the Holidays. This is going or, on for a while. Or, uh, wow. I, you know what I've been reading, actually? Larfley's Christmas. I've actually been reading The Saga of the Swamp Thing by uh, Alan Moore. I've been oh. reading Spawn. The, it's fantastic. The over 300 episodes. Shout out to David Berry from our other show, Cables Crusaders. He got me onto it, and it's very good. And if you have trouble reading comic books, it's your first time. You, you have this wonderful uh, interface that allows you to show what panel to pay attention to, and it says it's giant, big spread, but also keeps all of the covers uh, in, in the app as well. And allows you to make a watch list, so a wish list where you can read all your favorite comic books, because it's the internet's number one source of comics. You see, here's nerd on io backslash comicsology. So, did we mention that one of the Patreon tiers allows you to skip wow. ads? <laughs> <laughs> and that is why. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da. No, Ding. that's all the right. selling point. <laughs> yeah, right. After everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, actually, by the way, Philia ads like typically it's supposed to be like thirty seconds long. Whoa. Yeah, we're like way too short. We'll get there. That's yeah. fine. That's why I love my Comics favorite. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> da -da -da. Powered no. by Patreon. <laughs> but right. say it seven times as long as you say it seven uh, times. So the marquee topic: the holidays. holidays are us. We're mm -hmm. here. So uh, keeping in mind for everyone at home listening, uh, what are, what's uh, what uh, holidays you celebrate? Um, around the table might sound a little familiar for we celebrate similar ones, but I have celebrated other ones during yeah. the time of which uh, has been nice and only because I moved down to L.A. Um, but we want to kind of make it a little bit like a normal episode. Let's go over our initial reactions of the and first impressions <laughs> our, of our holiday first impressions experience. of Christmas. No. Uh, uh, I ahead. pooped myself probably as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, you want me to start off first? Sure. Please. Um, I, da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Uh, I, I no. so for me, I celebrate Christmas uh, the most. Uh, my parents are both uh, Asian AF, and they're still like, "Yo, Christmas!" I'm like, "All right, for sure." Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah, like it was a transaction. Mm -hmm. like, like, oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah you sure. do, you, man. Um, but no, they they were like, you know, when I was a kid, like I remember like waking up one day. It was like my favorite Christmas as a kid, and it was like I woke up to like 16 presents, and Whoa. it was because wow. those are all different beast work. 
Beast Hell Wars yeah. Episodes. Um, and that was the dopest shit. Um, but like, yeah, for the glory of the, the royalty. royalty. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's Megatron. Yeah, it's the best Megatron. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, I I celebrated Christmas all my life, and you know I went to American schooling, so that's it's always been part and parcel with uh the you know December. Um, holiday movies are you know fun. I think they're typically out of the bucket, not great. There are definitely some gems in the crown, oh, yeah. but there's a lot of fucking rhinestones. I got a question, actually. What's up? This is something that occurred to me the other night. We were listening to Christmas music huh? and saying that a lot of them aren't gems, right? Uh, it's very strange to me that Christmas music, like popular Christmas music, yeah. is all basically from like years, the 30s and 40s. 50s, yeah. yeah. And then nothing until Mariah Carey. last Mariah? Christmas. No. What? Wham. Oh, George Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last bum, Christmas, bum, bum, bum. I gave you my heart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like a forty-year gap, every Christmas song that came off, we all went no. <laughs> and then Wham came out with that, and we went yeah, all right. And then a lot of no for like another ten years. So it's Haley's then, comment. That's it's what amazing you're to me that Haley's comment. Like any other music genre, mm-hmm. it, it goes in phases, and they'll stick with some classic ones. But really, it's like Christmas music is just the forties and fifties with yeah. like an asterisk, it's and they're like, but also Wham and Mariah Carey. Yeah. Uh, and I just thought that was so strange. I couldn't. I don't stop know, thinking man. About the other night, Justin Bieber put out that mistletoe song, and that's so you mean he? songs that, that shit slaps. stand the test yeah. of time. Next that shit right. And I, was, I was curious, like, why do we think that? It, why is Christmas music like solely from to, the forties and fifties? It has 50s? to hit all the right notes. Is it? Is it that like our, the traditional like Christmas a, like C B? You know, checks all the, a lot all of boxes right from the vibes of like crooners and stuff like but that. You put some fucking jingles in the back, it immediately becomes a Christmas song. I don't yeah, know, but, but I, I'm saying like no one's really captured that same a big one. Yeah, I feel uh, like Mariah Carey was the last big one. Everybody has to like as a, a whole consensus be like this is a Christmas song. I mean, yeah. I think that'd be a fun. Uh, let's do. Let's take this even further. Yeah, who do you think out of the artists that we have now? Oh God. Is going to make the next big one. Jason Mraz. He'll make the next he big one? He just released one. It's I mean, very good. I guess it's not that good then. Because I haven't heard it yet. It is. I haven't I heard, heard it yet either. Well, like a couple days ago. But it's Mraz. So. Yeah. We'll give it another week. Of course week. it's good. Is it Mraz yeah. or Mraz? Same, whatever. Mraz. It's Mraz. M-R-A-Z. Is it Raz? Mraz. Mraz. Or Mataz. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did so, appreciate it. I, I, oh, no, I guess... The, uh, you know what? The Beatles had one. Didn't they? Yeah. So that would have been 25 years difference. You know Still, who, you know who years my money's on? Who? My Chemical Romance. I'm just, down with that. They just came back. And I you know what? They can it. fucking kill me. You know who should write us you know, what? a Christmas song? And like, I know you're listening. Please, please, please. We beg of you. Michael Buble already Baby, has. Baby! Yeah. I can pay you to some mistletoe on the No, no. Seal. Seal needs to write us a Christmas song. Dead before it began. Um, But I was going to say, actually, Brendan Urie. Yeah. Oh. You can kill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, kill yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Katie that? Tunstall? There was one. Regina yeah, I was Spectre, looking it up. It. It's called uh, 2,000 Miles. Um, she, has, well, she has a full album. Christmas album? Yeah, but that one I like a lot. Okay. I, I've listened to well. that every year. Well, that's... <sighs> It's a, is, I, don't, I didn't mean to spin off a whole argument or a whole or argument. I thought this was all about Tom's Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I, I just it, well, the it truth is, we won't it. know for like ten to twenty years until we keep hearing it. Yeah, that's true. You know, so it's got it. So you, if Mraz's but stands, like, but, but like two thousand was twenty years it. ago. But yeah, the, here's the thing: uh, it's hard. That's a much bigger discussion because it's kind of like asking, like, okay, so music pre, I don't know, like the eighties. There's not a lot of artists like nowadays that you go, oh, they're going to stand the test of time. Yeah. So it's it's a much bigger conversation of like, like I remember like the like the Backstreet Boys are never going to be the Beatles in terms of like, yeah, there might have been fans impact. of the Backstreet Boys, but the impact of the music is so not going to no be. So far, no band. Has Somebody ever been in the, once no, told. Don't. Jokingly. <laughs> until that. that has impact. <laughs> yeah. Um. So it's, so with Christmas music, it's like, I don't know. It was also, I don't know, Christmas or the holidays in general have changed very much in the past 50, 60 you years. Know, and yeah, so it's a little bit more, been. back then it was a little bit more wholesome. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. That's quote. what I'm saying. Does it, does it, does the crooner kind of vibe of those songs fit yeah. what, what the ideal of Christmas is? Probably. Like, like wholesome. I would family, say, actually, like, you know, there is a song modern wise. I have heard it come back again. It's from Ariana Grande. It's uh, Santa Tell Me. I haven't heard it. Must not be that good. I think it's. My, just as Justin Rams. I think it's exactly. people wanting to hold on to those with like desperate hope. Yeah. Of of those traditions. Cause like people, everybody is like, oh, Chestnut I hate holiday roasting, music. That kind I mean, of thing. There, yeah. there is something about like list, hearing Silent Night. Yeah. Uh, during like a Christmas movie, like versus hearing like Last Christmas. 
like those have two different tonalities. Mm -hmm. And if you heard Silent Night in another movie, it kind of still would make sense some way. Well, but I, hearing Last I like Christmas, hearing these. I, I like hearing the music during the holidays, and I'd like. And I'm I'm the weird guy who likes when the holiday music starts. Welcome to analyze Christmas music, Zoro. But <laughs> I, like I do it now. Because that like, I don't work it retail preserve, anymore. Right? And yeah, I've, right always, here I've always loved that. around the yeah. clock. But it gives you a little bit. It's nice. Is are like, oh. We have like some traditions as a society that we won't break. Like you're always going to hear Frank, Frank Sinatra. You're always going to hear it like Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's going to be, you know. Anyway, like the Jonas that was Brothers. Tom's initial reaction yeah. of the holiday. Uh, <laughs> so in all honesty, like, yeah, other than this, the same memeified things of like holiday season music and stuff like that, I, I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, the one thing I will say I don't, I really despise of the holidays is consumerism. Uh, I, I've talked about it before on the podcast of like, I really am cognizant of like how the machine and the systems work and like how we're very manipulated by media as well as social norms to like you have to use money in order Spend to now, uh, around this time. show affection to your loved ones. The reason yeah. I don't shop on Black Friday. I think it's fucking ridiculous. Oh yeah. That's the day after the Thanksgiving. The shitty thing is like also like this the like there's a fabricated business sense of it because it is black in the market. So yeah. it's like, I guess. But it's that. also not Black Friday anymore. No. It's, it's like, still, black, it's I'm like still getting emails early. of Black Friday is still going and you're yeah. like, it's Black Weekend. Black yeah. Weekend. Well, Cyber I think more egregious is the fact that it's also in Thursday as well. Yeah. Like, Target is open Thursdays. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, that's just, well, I think that's un American. Shout and that's to my <laughs> cousin who had to leave our Thanksgiving dinner to go work. That yeah. Is and that's that's the thing I hate where it's like, un -American, we talked opinion. about it in one of our uh, admitted episodes, which you, or one of our extra episodes on our uh, Patreon. You go check that out at nerdon.io backslash. So, uh, dun dun dun. Dun dun. Uh, but yeah, it's like, I hate the fact that like the immediately once September hits, it's like you could just hear the jingles. And it's like fucking Halloween is not even here yet, yeah. motherfucker. We have a rule in my house that we don't listen to Christmas music until after Thanksgiving. I'll say oh, this. Yeah. I put my phone on on shuffle all the time. If I hear a Christmas song, I might listen to it, but I don't like no no. But um because I, I like it. Nope. Uh, but I'm um, very strict in our house. It, it's it's tough because I feel like it's just like the Pavlovian shit of just like mm, Christmas coming. But did you get your presents for somebody that you won't have to you just like just give it like you're spending all your money for versus just like won't you just spend time with them? Yeah. Why don't you just remember like hey let's decorate the house or let's you know make some food together let's stay in let's the go qualm section yeah right um so i mean yeah <laughs> it's it's your your qualms. Qualms. Um, but so it, it actually for me holidays is actually kind of tough since i like graduated uh high school because all my par my parents and my family and my parents my friends all live in three different cities so it's like holidays for me is like fucking a nightmare because i just have to travel like fucking a nightmare like i fucking, wondered the same thing it's like yeah giving a blowjob to a demon uh, mm -hmm. It's probably the worst. Uh, yeah. And liquid hot schmag. But if you like that, nope. then you know. Nope. I'm not here to keep moving shame. on. Uh, but yeah, so it's it's just tough because it's like I, I'll have like a week off. It's like, but two of those days are in, or I each two days are going to be in th in a different city. Yeah. And so I'm just driving mm -hmm. nonstop. It's not relaxing. It's yeah. like the yeah. Thanksgiving for me was not. Relaxing. And I, I needed a vacation. And like it. I get traumatized from like movies like Home Alone, where it's like just running all the time. It's like, fuck that. Like I'm doing that all the time, no matter what, and I'm having to do this in order to like supposed to relax it's tough but like you kind of have to put in your brain of like well i'm doing this to see family mm -hmm. so it's like that's justified but i am not getting any money yeah you know, it's a little hard so those are the, that's your initial reaction <laughs> that's my initial reaction it's fucking hectic but I I? um for me uh i actually love the holidays like but for a lot of reasons oh, that you might Ollie, not Ollie holiday for reasons <laughs> holiday. that you might not expect um so my family and i uh our family when i was young like we would celebrate Christmas and like, you know, we were, I was born here and raised here and all that stuff, but our family isn't Christian, but I think our parents just kind of wanted us to have like a quote unquote, like American just holiday yeah. or whatever. So Christmas. we would, we would still get a Christmas tree and all the stuff. Shout out to Western Influence. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking they would give me a Christmas basket and then they wanted like, just uh, totally yeah. mixing up things. So I'm a huge fan of the holidays. Uh, it's, it's warm and cozy. Uh, like uh, despite the consumerist, Parts of it, I love like the bullshit. give the gift giving and like receiving. I like doing that stuff, and um, uh, a big, um, a huge reason for why I love the holidays is uh, from because I appreciate it from a designer standpoint. Like I love seeing what companies do for their holiday marketing. Hmm. Like Starbucks. I love it. Just look like oh, what are the Starbucks cups going to be this year? Ooh, that's time. interesting. What's on their window? That's an interesting choice. Okay, and like seeing what Macy's is doing. You what know, is they're not going to do? Oh. What is they're not going to do? Oh, oh you can... would love the Macy's in New York oh. with all the different windows. Yeah, I want like that's the that, treat, and it's like 
there's something is magical. And of course, it's all heavily influenced from the media. But it's kind of you. You kind it's of cool. It's true, kind of in a you weird way. You like what you like, man. Like I like standing. You don't have to explain it. In the snow, uh, and you know, just you know, standing in, in LA, we lights. don't get snow. So when we would go, as we'll talk about in a little bit, just try to drive home for Thanksgiving next year through the grapevine. You'll see. Yeah. Snow. Well, I also I lived in Omaha for seventeen eight years. hours of it. While you're so I got Yay. I got plenty in Omaha. I got in Omaha. I think is where I actually fell in love with with Christmas. It was with because Christmas and steaks. Because Christmas and steaks. Because. Uh, it was because we had seasons. There was there was snow it piled high, feats of feats of snow. Feats of snow. Feats of snow. We have strength of feet. <laughs> strength of feet of snow, and yeah, we shoveled it and all that stuff. But it was magical because you get that first snow and like it's all pretty. And like in Omaha, particularly because we lived in like the most picturesque uh, suburban neighborhood, like yeah. clean, open, like picturesque out of what you see out of a movie. And when you get that first snow and you wake up in the morning and it's like, it's kind of gray out there, but then you look and everything is covered in white and you're, it's, it's kind of magical. That's yeah, it awesome. is. I will say it's like quick, a whole different place. I do like Christmas because of the romanticism, like fucking media has sold me That's, on it. Yeah. But also like there has been this weird sense of like, I do find some kind of comfort in the busy hustle bustle mm -hmm. in the same time that I hate it. Because like I get the psychology, you're like manipulating my mind to make me feel good, but I'm like, keep doing it because you know what? It makes it me feel feels good. Like, yeah, I like it, but I know where it's coming from. I know where it's coming it. from. I acknowledge then, it. I understand and it. I, and I'm okay As with long it. as you're aware of it, that's the thing. Is it's kind of like we can go through this life as a cynical person and be like, yeah. oh, it's just consumerism. But it's like, you know, like, oh, you know that what? Sounds that's just what like you me. Like, that sounds just like me. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's consumerism. That's not oh, something I feel like I have to repair. So everything's great. Yeah. Yeah. You can do your part. Yeah, and then and all the hey, fireplaces. Josh. How about you, Josh? All the all the stuff. Josh, yeah. what's your initial? Oh, you stop tacking and everyone's into yours. My wow, Tom. <laughs> bah humbug. Ow. Oh, ow, my ears. Um, initial reactions of the holidays. Uh, honestly, I was a child of divorce, so I had two Christmases. Shout out Ooh. Christmas holidays. Um, Same. And each family had different um, different traditions and what Tradition. we did. Like like some. Like in one family, we opened presents on Christmas Eve. The other family, we opened up Christmas presents on Christmas Day. Yeah. Um, nice. Different, different, uh, we'll get into traditions later. But, um, you know, in all, in all actuality, kind of the, the, unfortunately, the negative, but the positive is that holidays weren't all that great for me. Like there was a lot of like, so you had drama. twice as bad. No, I mean, it, it just depended on Christmas. who you were with. And like it can be dramatic and whatnot, but so I didn't like the holidays until the past ten years when I started dating my now wife, and Doing she your loves own thing. She loves the holidays, Must be nice. and we've it is. I almost said it before you, but it is. It is nice. It is nice. Um, so developing our own traditions, developing our own sense nice. of Christmas. We are a once Thanksgiving is over, then it's free game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But before that, it's not the holidays yet. Shut it off. Um, so, you know, we have our own, our own stuff that we like to do and it's a good time. I, my wife and I, we have a great time and, uh, I, I don't, I don't know much else to say about initial reactions. I like it. Now I like it. Um, I like the holiday. I like the holidays. Mm -hmm. It's fun. That's not your line. It's fun with my, it's fun with my wife. It's fun under a new perspective. Cause again, I also didn't like Christmas music for a while due to being a choir boy and for being choir boy compared to me and retail. Was that your Arnold? Not really. It was, it, I wasn't committed. You, got a little, you sounded like Quabo. Quabo. I was a Quabo. I was like, Quabo. I was like, what's a Quabo? Quabo. <laughs> My Creole. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kaylin. Uh, Initial reactions. So I always have the warm, fuzzy feels about holidays. Um, Are you a Christmas music before Thanksgiving kind of person? I am not. Um, my family yeah. has a... My, my mom has always been really good about like pacing the holiday stuff. My dad... Does not Pace want yourself. to decorate at all. But my mom loves decorating. So we would always get really ready for Halloween. That family. would be its thing. Yeah. And then we'd get like ready for Thanksgiving. But it was a little bit more compacted, like only around that Thursday. And then it's kind of done. And then Christmas was like, as soon as Thanksgiving was done, we go home and that weekend and we decorate the entire house. Like that's when the Christmas music starts. That's when we pull everything down from the attic. We put up all the Christmas decorations. The tree goes up. Everything in you that go ham. weekend. Yep. It's <laughs> and then have some ham. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> uh, but most of the time we would go to my grandparents' so house with the whole family. And we had like so many traditions about like. How many? 
So many. Oh, nice. We're gonna have um, a section yeah. on traditions, right? Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll, yeah. we'll get there. Yeah, but, Josh. Um, <laughs> spoilers. But I was I was very uh, I was fortunate in that like I grew up in uh, from like the time I was four to like you know by the time I left for college I stayed in the same house and my family is pretty tight knit so we had you know great how quality knit? family time. Huh? How, how knit are they? Close knit. Oh, okay. A what? tight 44? I don't know, I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> anyway. No, I'll get that. Uh, they say they're tight-knit? Uh, oh. Sorry about that. Tight-knit. I don't know. Same but, thing. No, it was nice. It's a I, phrase. I like, I like the holidays. We don't uh. do it as much now anymore just because we're littered all over the globe. But Littered? Yeah. Plus, they don't exist. So. Hear that, Flat Earthers? Glow. Wow. <laughs> There's that old wrench. <laughs> Corey? Holidays are good. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like them. So that's my initial reaction. Good job. No, uh, I'll take. I'll do a <laughs> short, short reprieve. Now I'll, Josh's segment that he wanted to go into. Oh, okay, cool. Can I speak now? <laughs> no. Do I have permission? Is that really your? No, no, it's not. no, no, no. 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 Please, I was going to say. I was going to go say your. Uh, I, I really, I do like the holidays. I am a firm believer. I will shut down music in my house if it is playing before Thanksgiving, uh, aggressively. Uh, I ripped wow. an iPhone out of a uh, speaker the other day. So what do nice. you do? Wow. Um, as I have strong opinions and I execute them. Well, so, I know what to do at your place now. Play Christmas music before the holidays? Hell yeah. Yeah, okay. Good luck. Yeah. I will shut down the power. Uh, I'm gonna, Where is I'm, the breaker I'm just box? Go, I'm just going <laughs> to sneak in small speakers everywhere. Um, Let's imagine you going sabotaging your fuse box and you come to realize it's like just playing off of his yeah. phone. <laughs> it's like a Groundhog Day, but with Christmas music. Yeah. That's what I'm going to so, do. So uh, I, I have celebrated both Christmas and Hanukkah uh, a few times. Mm. Um, Chanukah. I mm-hmm. uh, love the food, mostly. Mm. I am not uh, religious on either side, but I do love the idea behind Christmas and Hanukkah. And But you're religious about Christmas. I'm religious ah. about no Christmas music before Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's my religion. Um... But I, I like the idea of, of togetherness and closeness. I on Christmas I still wake my family up at seven a.m. But before they get up, I have turned on the heater for an hour, so it's like a toasty seventy-four in our house. I've mm-hmm. made everyone coffee and tea, whatever their specific orders were. I, I do it the night before. Uh, I take their orders the night before I make it in the morning. So everyone is woken up with tea, food, a warm house, and all the lights are on. So okay, mom. Awesome. Yeah, that is pretty good. It was way, my mom's way when I was like six of being like, I'm gonna get another hour of sleep out of this. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, hell yeah, that's, she has that's trained the tra- you. That's the tradition wow. in our house is that I get up and I make everyone's coffee and tea and a bit of food and I wake everyone up. After yeah, with for me it's been like more like I stay up until midnight and then I have a drink with wherever parents stayed up. Sure, my parents don't stay up that late. My parents are in bed by seven. Mm-hmm. So whoa, my parents lived off graveyard shifts. So. Uh, whoa, yeah, um, they both. My my dad did for a while, but now he works at four a.m. Now so. he has a good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was working at a restaurant for a lot, for 20 years. Uh, but um, same thing, uh, child of divorce. So we would we would switch back and forth between houses. You know, if my mom got us on Thanksgiving, my dad got us for Christmas, vice versa. Shout sure. out to all the ACODs. Mm-hmm. Christmas would last like a week. Because I we- thankfully had like a, in that, in that realm, I had a tradition in which, of consistency of who I, I knew who I was going to be with because I had certain traditions with my yeah. dad as compared to, and so it's like, are we moving on to traditions? Uh, I don't know, Josh. Can. Everybody, Seems like yeah, you want you to. to no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, just I forgot to mention now. something. Anyway, I like bah. the holidays. Uh, part of my also, my parents like got divorced in the holiday time. Oh, and so like it's so fun because I think about it, I'm like, oh, that should be traumatic. But then like I remember that day, and that was fucking traumatic. But now I'm like, nah, that happens. Um, People get fucking terrible things happening to them on holidays all the time. Mm-hmm. So Josh, go ahead. Traditions. Yeah. It's not that I'm pushing for it because people you specifically say my tradition was this. And I'm like, oh, so are we doing that now? Because yeah. I do have something to. Yeah, we like, are. Go for it. Feel okay, bad cool. about it though. Huh? You feel bad about it? Yep. Though. It's kind yeah. Of- oh, I'm still um, feeling bad. So let's do qualms now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Traditions. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. This is fun. Right. Everyone so IO fun. Da da da. Ding. Um, What's the tradition, baby? Well, I had the tradition that on Christmas Eve, I would be at my mom's or slash my grandma's, like kind of that side of the family. And then on Christmas Day, I would be at my dad's and we would always go see a movie, mm. uh, whatever opened. And it had with, to be... It with could, papa? Yeah, it what? had to be a movie that came out that you, what's, day. what's a movie you remember? Avatar? All right, skipping. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
Uh, I remember Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon came out oh, on, yeah. on a Christmas day. Oh, Good answer. We should do a fucking episode on that shit, baby. We have a lot of things we need to do episodes on. God damn. I mean, that's one you of my seen traditions. It? But you haven't seen it. one of the most important films of all Continue fucking time? Continue, What else you got? Yeah, what other traditions do you have? Uh, Yeah, I mean, obviously, so we would, I think it was a forced tradition that we open presents on Christmas Eve. Um, because I would be at a different house on Christmas Day. So, so one part of the family. Both, right? Yeah, so we would re- open pre- presents on Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. And then, um, it's like an agreement. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, I mean, there's more, but yeah. this is a table I, and a um, conversation. I just thought of one. Mm-hmm. Uh, almost every Christmas around that time, we would, as a family, go to Lake Tahoe. Ooh. Wow. Lake Tahoe. Uh, yeah. Uh, mostly flew, sometimes drive i think no it was always flying mostly flew sometimes the cold no it was, it was always flying to like sometimes Tahoe. cuckoo over the because we all because we also took trips to las vegas a lot so that we always drew uh, drove drew drove. uh but we flew so for you guys goes and droves <laughs> yeah we drove and, um, droves. and i loved lake tahoe and we'd be on the, on the nevada site so we could like be at the harris specifically that hotel and i remember it having like we would go Pillow uh in the morning like the tradition would be like in the morning we'd go like to the I think I'm pretty sure it was like the top floor of the hotel would be the breakfast buffet. We would hit that. It's a continental breakfast. Con- Hell yeah. yeah. It was like it was like more it was like a buffet. Huh? It wasn't uh, just a continental damn. breakfast. Buffet. It was like a breakfast buffet. And uh it was dope, yeah. of course, amazing. And then uh usually we'd either go like walk around or something, or usually we'd be going the reason we made the trip is so we could all go skiing. Uh-huh. And so we would do that as a family go get rental skis and all that stuff take the lift up we'd always be like in the beginners area because i still can't I, I don't dare going to the even the even the lowest whatever first stop i've actually never mm-hmm. been skiing mm-hmm. no it's no. it's fun because like you get you get all decked out and all rental gear and stuff like that um and then it's just like it's kind of hilarious because yeah. you're you're gonna fall eighteen thousand times you know while you're doing it and it's funny because like the way it works is you hold on to like this little orange flag and it kind of drags. It's kind of like a yeah yeah, and then it takes you a little bit higher and then you kind of just kind of come down. I used to ski every year with my family too, and then I became what they referred to as a knuckle dragger, which oh, is geez. a snowboarder. Ah, oh. primate. See, I never tried. I always because wanted to try. You, you like use your hand a little bit to. I should try it next time I go to a wintry place. Snowboarding. I think I'm gonna try snowboarding. I love I've never done. I've never Big done. It. it uses completely different muscles. Than yeah. Skiing. I'm, I'm, it wore I'm me sure. out the first day, but yeah. But that that was a big one. Snowboarding once and it really that people applauded when I unhooked a foot and just slid down like it was a sled. Yeah, they didn't make. I it imagine good. you doing something like that. It was bad. Yeah. We, we would always <laughs> not always I think, uh, but as much as as often as we could, we would all also try to include uh, our aunt because it initially it's just like me, my dad, my mom, and my brother. And then we would try to get like extended family when we could. Oh, it must be nice. So yeah, nice. Nice. aunt yeah. or an uncle will come join us with our cousin. No, Tom actually, traditions? Actually, I uh, used to go to Tahoe when I was like super young. Cool. And that's Caitlin not a tradition anymore. <laughs> and uh, now I just spent time with four other assholes, including one uh... with fucking plastic eyeballs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about uh, Valentine's Day. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I, it, I, it, I was thinking about it. Like, I. Like kind of helps suggest like we talk about our traditions and holidays. I don't fucking have any, I think, anymore. Oh, like because like they've been just so. What were they? Well, now up until now, yeah, they've kind of. Uh, I mean, so I was also parents of divorce. So like, I remember as a kid, you were it was like parents of divorce. I was child of divorce. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I was an ACOD, so adult adult child of divorce. Great. Um, but like I remember it was like sometimes I would be at my mom's, sometimes I'd be at my dad's. It didn't really have any fucking method around it. Um, and then like. They were both like single parenting, so it's like one gift per, but that was it. Yeah. Um. After like my childhood, uh, and so like around my teenager, it was just like, you get what you get, and you're just off school. And then later on, it became more like when I started going to high school, it's like get your gift for your friends, and then like you'd scramble the money that you fucking had, and I don't know how the fuck I got money anyways. But uh, like going to college, it was like my parents were both in separate separate cities, and then my fr- my friends were in the same city, so it's like. I'd host everyone to come over, um, but then I'd still find a way either like I had to go both parents. So it's like in the morning to my mom's and then yeah. in the evening at my dad's. And that was just a fucking nightmare. But uh, like now since I've been in L.A., it's like either I go to my mom's in Thanksgiving or I go to my dad's in Thanksgiving and then they switch off. But then now yeah. it's, like, it's just been so in, inconsistent. Well, it's, where it's as, like, now yeah. that you're an adult, it's like you 
we always call it the like the orphan holiday where it's like that's mm. that's kind of been a thing for me too where it's like in LA I don't have and now my family's actually starting to move away from California even fuck it so um it's <laughs> you do have kind of a an All orphan right, we'll an talk orphan, later an orphan an orphan family kind of Christmas or yeah. orphan Thanksgiving that kind of thing where it's like new traditions Friendsgiving you know, yeah Friendsgiving and like I would say this the one kind of tradition I really look forward to shout out to my boy Ian uh during college he would always come over like once school had finished or the semester was over and he'd make mold wine yeah Ooh. so like we would just Aww. what does I call it mold wine moldy wine yeah. remind me what that is again mold wine is like cinnamon with star anise a little bit of orange right. and it's then like warmed, warmed wine that's right um, so I, like holiday never had sangria. It, it sounds amazing. Yeah, I really enjoy holiday it. Holiday sangria. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we would just like play board games with the rest of the friends. But like oh, yeah. now everyone's got kids. People got married. It's like people have to spend Christmas Tougher. with their own families now because like that's kind of the interesting thing about when you grow up. It's like you spread out and then make your friend tribes and then all of a sudden you start making families and then go back and then. I'll come play board games yeah. with you, Tom. I want yeah, you, you should say, do. Can we you have should a... do less Christmas and Christmas. Exactly. M dash US. Yeah, Chris. Exactly. Because us. we're in America. Us. Oh. Yeah. Happy Crim. Can we can we have a nerd us. on uh holiday party? Chris. Yeah. There's us. like Friendsgiving, <laughs> so friends Chris Fistmas. No, it's Chris Fistmas. 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 Uh, it's, that's it now. No. You have missed friend spoke. Fistmas. <laughs> Merry Fistmas. <laughs> Fri- Fri- okay. Fist and all Christmas. your friends. Us. You, you just I like the so fist plot right over it. Yeah. That's it. I like the Fistmas. Put in an R. Merry Fistmas. Keep it PG. <laughs> Merry Firstmas. Frist. Frist. Oh. Frisk. 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 Friskmas. Happy TSA. So Happy gonna, Fistmas, we're everybody. Just keep I just want to say other up. a quick aside, breaking the fourth wall to the listeners out there. Where else are you going to get this kind of? Humor? <laughs> <laughs> you know you love this podcast. Nerd on yeah. io backslash Patreon. The best fact you can make Fistmas. for Fistmas is putting your thumb in between your nope. index. Right. Oh, oh, anyway. Stop it. See? Uh, so some uh, premium content you can't get anywhere else. One of the traditions <laughs> that I love in my family. Don't you want to see this is, conversation uh, three days earlier? What, is, that, what is your and tradition, Corey? And then she puts them on our bed. What? She kills children and puts them on your bed? Yes. yes. She kills a child every <laughs> Christmas and Drown puts your it babies. on our bed. <laughs> so we wake up screaming so I can get up and make the coffee and the tea and yeah. everything and I'm wide awake. No, she um, she buys pajamas for us and leaves them Aww. on our bed. New, new set of pajamas every from year. A child from a child that, that she it. killed. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no, no. Uh, she does. And then she started doing that for my wife as well now. So we wake Aww. up and there's... And on our bed nice. is just a nice little set of jammies the night mm. before Christmas. So everyone wakes up on Christmas in some fresh new kicks. Aww. Nice. Aww. Must be nice. I like that. It is nice, it Tom. Is. It uh, is. It's very nice. Really nice. You should try it sometime. Have a family. Yeah. yeah. Not being cynical. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I try. Uh, so <laughs> that's one of my favorite... Uh, this episode should have, should have a must be nice. Every time I'm hope, uh, every time I'm hopeful, my parents get divorced. Oh, <laughs> so the, you were hopeful once. The, one. <laughs> <laughs> the last time, time. time. Kimmel fell over on his own joke. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Look, we, we are Tom's very, favorite comedian is Tom. Very loosey goosey. <laughs> can't laugh today. at somebody. Laugh at yourself. Caramel Nerd apple on. spice at Starbucks, trying to get us back on track. Yeah, Another tradition. one of my favorite traditions is caramel apple spice at Starbucks. You can't pass it up. You got to get it. If you haven't tried it, you got to try it. Eggnog I got it recently sponsored. for the first time, actually. Did you? Was it good? Yeah, Eggnog shout thoughts? out to the Epicenter in Santa Rosa. They have a Starbucks in there, and uh, we got it. It was very good. Oh, it's very, very good. Thank Although, too sweet. Yeah, I'm a bigger fan of the gingerbread latte. I'm right there with you. Eggnog. It is, it's a nice treat. Yeah, it is too sweet, because once upon a time, I used to have there, my... I would know no limit to how sweet I could make something. Yeah. Uh, you know, no. Since becoming like an adult. You're telling me my grandma used to feed us eggos with butter and sugar on top. <laughs> so I get where you're coming from. Uh, Good guy. I mean, that's regular eggos. Yeah. Um, but tempering my own regos? sugar, oh, sugar intake. Yeah. yeah. It's, egg- it's butter and syrup. That's sugar. No, no, no. But she would just put white granulated yeah. sugar because ultimately to fill the holes. Ultimately, it is apple juice. <laughs> oh. Just, but yeah, it has. It's hot sweetener. apple juice with yeah. spice. I was say, have you had more sweetness. Great. Have you had the waffle from Jamba Juice? That's what? literally what it is. No. They have sugar yeah. inside of the yeah. waffle. Oh yeah, that sounds it's really like no, it's sugar. fucking. It's dope. meant to be. Well, yeah, it's meant to be. Just grab on the go. A tradition pan, that I pan. have. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Josh, you're gonna cut me off. Oh my god. Now oh. that we're on traditions, you're gonna Kevin cut me off there. Kevin hasn't gone yet. Wow. Lots of qualms. Ding. Um. Thank you, Tom. Um, this is a fucking mess. One thing, that as my, always. one thing that my dad did that both terrified my sister and now I ahead, and it became the best thing ever was we woke up one morning and every single present was gone. 
Nice. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. And we were ready to like start crying and be like, Christmas is ruined. Santa took everything. We're horrible children. Yeah, you are. And he's like, look, look at the tree. And he had left a note. And then he scavenger did hunt? A scavenger hunt. Yeah, hell yeah. So nice. we scavenger hunted all over the house. And he did that for a couple of years. Like if we were home, and you he found would do them that. burning in the backyard. I'm in the kidding. oven, yeah. Oh, were they like limericks or something to like? Yeah, he, well, they were like um, riddles. They were riddles. Yeah. Yes. It was like a riddle where you had to figure out where it was so they could like watch us where processing do I tell you with not our to child go. brains. Yeah. Um, I love it. And then if we were at my grandparents' house, like my aunts, uncles, cousins would all come in. And then in the mornings, once everyone is finally awake and we've had breakfast and everyone's like caffeinated and everything, we'd all sit in the living room and then each person would like open a present. But it had to go in a line. Like Jesus. you had to wait. And as my grandma got older, that got harder because it took her like 30 minutes to open presents. Uh, she would rip she it. She knew and what she was doing. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she did. She was like, she'd like looking right at you like, oh, are you next in line for the presents? <laughs> Maybe we should send you she, on a it's just scavenger hunt. It's like pro level like, hot potato. Pull she would like put a, a a single finger in and like start to rip it and then stop and but then I look save up the paper. And then smile and then look around and then look back down and rip it Maybe again. She was and like then do it again. Maybe she was a Hollywood like, no! Maybe she was a Hollywood starlet and she when just When you got handed it to her, you should have grabbed it by like the weak part and been like, oh whoops. <laughs> oh no. Oops. Oh, that's Every also time. a question. Yeah. How do you guys open your like a raft fucking gift? maniac? Yeah, yeah like, like a maniac. Like what? So, I know people who do it. it. No, my my sister would get my fucking sister. pissed at me because I would just destroy. it. She's like, uh -huh. you didn't even appreciate the wrapping. Oh, I, I like, appreciate. I looked at it. My mom. <laughs> here's another tradition. My mom makes her own bows. Uh -huh. Oh wow. So we appreciate the Out wrapping. Of the ribbons of children's bodies. And then we fucking just destroy that. Like, destroy the wrapping. I didn't know what it was, yeah. and now I do. It did its job. Before my dog passed, we used to take the paper and throw it, and she would like to rip it up. Yeah. So. Uh, we don't care about the wrapping. But ever since then, well, I, now, so. I now get cognizant of whoever's like, do you want me to tear it off or do you want me to open it nicely? Because I ask that question now. Don't. Because I, I, do I, you. I, I close, I, I, when I wrap my gifts, I do it very like envelope style. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. like, I mean, I think that's the only real way to do it. Yeah. But then that, ever since I'm like, oh yeah, it does take a fucking long time. I learned time to wrap uh, presents because when I was 16, I was interviewed at a toy store. Mm. And one of the questions in the interview is, do you know how to wrap presents? And I said very confidently, yes. And then I went home and I was like, mom, you need to teach me how to wrap presents. I definitely lied. I got the job and they're going to make me do it. Next Shout interview. Shout out to America. Next interview, they there was a week later and they had me wrap a present oh. in the interview. And yeah. I was like, fucking A, I got nope. this. <laughs> <laughs> Told you guys I knew how to do this. How'd it go, Corey? <laughs> went like this. <laughs> and then I made my own bow and I was like, bitch, why? Was it like a, like a, like I a got that cartoon job, by the way. cloud around your hands and yeah, then yeah. like it was done? Yeah. Uh, I got the job uh, and then I quit, I think, like six months later. Proud of you. She nice. Was the worst. Yeah. Shout out. Wow. Nice. Did um, anybody do uh, to the holiday worst. pranks against their siblings? Yes. No. I come from a prank family. My wife does not. She's learning, though. Shout out to my wife. She's doing so good. We are a hard no pass on pranks. That explains a lot dad. about you, Caitlin. <laughs> oh, but your dad could do them, but my, you couldn't? My, yeah. Did you have a... Hmm. You wanted to, or and mm. the foot was put down, or like Dana wasn't. doesn't have it in her to do pranks. Okay, yeah, yeah. Our family I, didn't I, at all. I don't really enjoy them. My mom is and a my sister super doesn't enjoy them. Like we we've like I think I did maybe one or two pranks. I'm talking and about the like terrible, is, like you'll get killed pranks. I'm aware. Just any kind the of prank? The reaction was so strong that I never wanted to do a prank oh. ever again. This all explains what Caitlin is in real life. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. Like yeah, them. I came from big big prank family. My, there's this one picture of my mom that she hates. She went when she was younger. She had me very young. She was 23 when she had me. Uh, and so when she was about 26, 27, she wanted to get, she's, she's brunette. She wanted to get highlights. And her friend who was learning how to do oh, hair no. was like, I'll do it for free. And then turned her entire head like oh, no. bright yellow orange. Ooh. Hell yeah. So there's this Paramore, picture that baby. she hates. My grandpa, shout out, who's a big prankster and kind of a little shit, self-admittedly. <laughs> um, he was kind of an old shit. He was like, hey, Christy. And he had his camera and took a picture. And she looks fucking furious in this picture. <sighs> and it's her least favorite picture of all time. She's tried to tear up a ton of them, but he's made like thousands of copies. <laughs> so one year, my grandma makes these Danish cookies. They're almond cookies. It's like her tradition. And They're like Danish? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a tradition <laughs> that she would make them and send them out to everyone. And my mom loves them. She used to like steal ours. And we were like, it was a whole thing. Uh, and so one year, as a gift, she got a whole piled plate of them. And she opened it up and she was so happy. Came out of like nice little box. She's like, oh, my own plate. And she's like, I'm going to have one. And she took the saran wrap off. And that's when we were all informed to grab every single cookie off the plate because the plate that they had made 
had that picture on oh, it. Oh, no! So she was left with nothing but a plate with the worst picture of her in the world. Uh, so, yeah, we do pranks. Wow. wow. I never had that pranks. That explains That's a lot good. about you. But my yeah. dad liked to lie. Oh. And he'd always what? say... This took a dark, dark wow. turn. And he would just say, we didn't get you anything. All the time. And then all of a sudden... I thought you were start talking about getting cigarettes from the gas station. No, no. My, my, my dad was there. <laughs> my dad was there. But no, he was just like, we didn't get you anything. For like hours. It's, it's, it is strange <laughs> to hours. me that people across... the Adults across the globe... We talked about this the other day. Oh, yeah. Have like universally agreed to just lie, lie to children... About, about, a, about a man who breaks in. And then we like we have to make that determination of like, that guy can break in. Mm -hmm. No one else can break in. Like yeah. if a kid's like, this guy have presents? Like, no, we don't know who that is. A guy comes in, eats your food, and like, like you have to make that weird distinction. Yep. There's there's three people who can break into your house as a child. Everyone else says no. It's Santa, a fairy, and a rabbit. They can all break in. Totally yep. fine. Let oh, yeah. them go. Everyone else, tell your parents, y'all. Uh, it's just weird to me that yeah. we we're all like, for sure. You lying to your okay? kids? Yeah, I'm lying to my kids. You lying to your well, kids? The, man, oh, fuck the laws of man do not apply to gods, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> it's, well, it's strange to well. me. To me, half of it is like is good parenting stuff t technique, where it is like, if you're not good, you're not going to get a present from Santa. Yeah. And it's like, you know, a kid's like, but you'll get me a present. It's like, I don't get you shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's where it comes in. It's like, I, you got to prove it to everybody. Yeah. And so that's, that's smart, but it also it's like, but also but someone's going to kidnap it's, you. It's one of those <laughs> moments right, yeah. that if you like take a step back and look at it, you're like, that's weird that we all just, just lie to all the kids just swim no and way. we'll lie to other people's kids oh, like yeah. oh what did santa bring you this year yeah <laughs> like i don't know this fucking kid and we'll go so far as to masquerade around as this fictional character yeah to perhaps it's lie. very like if you didn't understand what like christmas was like if you were just from a, a different planet and you yeah. came you're like this is fucking who's this guy for <laughs> why is he so important he's why allowed to every... break and entering yeah. Wow. B and E. Good Every old B &E. single house in the U.S. Yeah. We just want childhoods to be magical until you get to adulthood. Where yeah. it's we tell kids scary. not to be ridiculous, what? and yet we tell them there's a man flying around with reindeer breaking into our homes once a year. Mm -hmm. I we mean, go, well, don't, well, grow up. Yeah. But also, be good because the big man <laughs> is gonna come and leave gifts. And my parents also used to go as far as to make us leave carrots on the front porch. Wow. And then they would like bite them and leave them for, for the reindeer. Yeah. Leave yeah. food for the reindeer too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my, I remember one time I left a tooth under a, a pillow and my parents just like, the tooth fairy probably didn't like you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's like cool. I used to prank my little brother. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, that's what you do to a little brother. I oh, think. Oh, no. Right? That's what you yes. do. And you steal their Game I, Boy, right? I once replaced, uh, yes, you steal <laughs> their Game Boy. Um, I once replaced all my uh, little brother's presents in his stocking with coal. Nice. And then um, he had like a little small present. You know, small presents, sometimes you put yeah, them yeah, in the yeah. tree because they're, anyway, it was a ring box and all it had was a piece of coal inside of it. Nice. I do, I do. I am a good big brother. I do want to try <laughs> that it. one day with the fucking, you guys seen the memefied one where it's like you just take an empty box and you throw it into the fucking furnace, uh, into the fireplace. Oh, right? oh yeah. Every time yeah. a kid acts oh. like, Pfft. oh, to, like if they're <laughs> misbehaving around yeah, the holidays. Yeah, it's like, all right, yeah, that present's gone, but they're all empty because all yeah. the presents are actually in the closet. Yeah. That's Every dope. time I you like lie, that. I put I a Christmas that. present in the... Oh. I hate it. Uh, not really a prank, but kind of the same thing in the vein of like, technically all parents are pranking their kids about the man who breaks in their house. Uh, my dad, one year, we did have a fireplace and he got his boots from outside, put them in the soot and did steps, oh, steps. up to... So we had footprints in our that house leading up to the tree. That is a commitment to a lie. Yeah. That Hardwood is a or lot what? of cleaning. Carpet. Oh wow. wow! Yeah, I'm sure your mom Did loved your... that. Well, they're divorced. Remember? Oh yeah. Oh. So never mind. Not <laughs> a bio dad. <laughs> yeah, bio dad. Uh, it was. Holy I think crap. it was a good one. Another time he had. Uh, this is the. But shout out to your dad for the effort. No, he went hard on Christmas. Holy, so how hard? One year we're at my oh. hard in the paint. Uh, <laughs> we're at uh my grandpa's house, my grandma and grandpa's house down in Calabasas. Shout out to Calabasas. And we used to sleep on the second floor, and we were young enough. We were like at the age where we were still sleeping in bed with parents and stuff because it was just the one guest room so it's me my sister my dad and uh all of a sudden my dad's waking me up and he goes look and there's a big window at the end of the bed and there was a red light flashing like this and i was like fucking rudolph he's here <laughs> rudolph is a fucking machine and i was like oh my god no well the, the the curtains were closed so it was just like this glow of light coming in through that through I always house. imagined his nose would be like a flashlight it's just always on Whatever. not just like so anyway this is my story <laughs> and uh, so then we hear something downstairs and we we s s drive what did you say Rose such a clatter uh, we sn snucked it downstairs and hid behind the dining room table Sneaked. and we looked over and there's Santa putting presents away 
Uh, and we got to go meet him. He didn't speak, but he handed a present to me with my name on it and a present to my sister with her name on it. And then he had told us to go back to bed. We went back to bed. Uh, turns out, found out 10 years later, it was my grandpa. <gasps> and he bought like a, it rented like a $500 Santa suit. Jesus. No, it wasn't $500. He rented, he rented it. it. It was like 50 right. bucks. Uh, but it was a super fantastic. And the reason he didn't speak uh, is because it, you'd I would recognize his voice. Really. Uh, same one, the same grandpa who did the plate thing with but my mom. Couldn't it be, but it was the coolest. Ex- I told that, everyone that I met Santa. But couldn't it have been cool if you thought, maybe <gasps> my grandpa is Isn't that Santa? like some intricate shit, though? That's a lot. And then, That's real to put the Santa good. Claus on it, who did he kill? Yeah. <laughs> um, the last so guy. So going to traditions, because I feel like Corey's talking about different experiences, and we'll go about that later in the episode. Tim Allen. Uh, any particular foods? As a tradition. Mm. Oh, cheese ball, beef Wellington. Well, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be family foods. Could be like a, a favorite okay. drink to get the holidays. So is there like special mm. food stuff that's like I make? Ooh, I make beef Wellington every Christmas. Peppermint mocha. I Shout out a, to Gordon Ramsay. You that's said cheese ball a second ago. Yeah, cheese ball. That's about like cheese ball. Every time uh, my family gets together, they make a cheese ball. Um, Go on, Ollie. And it's basically like they make cheese. one singular, or everyone makes one. Like there's one singular. How big is this ball? Oh, yeah. It's like I guess like a say what your words for our listeners. Grapefruitish. Like two grapefruit, handful, yeah. yeah, big old grapefruit size. Yeah, and that's then it's good. like cream cheese, and then I think it's like corned beef or something in it. And Ooh. then there's like green onions mixed in. And then on the outside is like walnuts or something. It's not much of a cheese oh, ball. I know meat. In there. It's meat. They cheese. smell tiny versions at this. They smell they them. Smell they them? sell. Jesus. Some they smell weird. Them. English is our <laughs> first. At Trader <laughs> Joe's, there's a whole group of people who just go in into Trader Joe's and smell all the cheese balls. Yeah, <laughs> there's feats of them. They stacks. also <laughs> sell them there. Wow. Yeah. But so, yes. they do smell that. They drove over there to sneak them around. Wow. Yeah. Guys, the English is hard. Lo- we are a plethora of content. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, that was cheese balls definitely. And then anymore, I think of like a peppermint mocha. It's like the Christmas time. Hot or cold? Thing. Hot. Always hot. Josh? I, hot drinks always. Foods? I mean, drink wise, I love eggnog lattes. Um, hot or cold? I love just eggnog. Hot. I, yeah, eggnog's good. Hot or cold? Um, hot or cold? Egg, corn. Eggnog. Eggnog? Yeah. Cold. I've actually never had hard eggnog. Oh. Like with alcohol? So, yeah. So oh, well, I, you're missing I hear, out, sir. I hear, honestly, the be- like one of the best, like if you're looking for commercialism, the best uh, dr- mixer for eggnog is SoCo. What's that? Southern oh. Comfort. Oh, oh, really? They make their own. They sell their well, own just having eggnog. The, just having the regular and with whatever brand eggnog you want. Well, I'm telling good. you, Southern Comfort makes their own eggnog. They also make oh. a Tabasco flavor one, which is garbage. So, uh, no. uh, Food-wise... No, I was going to say, eggnog's just, like, it's what ri- white Russians want to be. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, like, hard eggnog is what I think white Russians, like, wish they were. Shout out to our Russians that mm. aren't white. And shout out to it's Big like Lebowski if a, fans. If a French chef wanted to recreate it, it would, yeah. that, you, would get, you would get eggnog. Uh, so, <laughs> egg, so, 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 eggnog latte for you. Um, Food, like, munchies-wise? I mean, it's... Christmas tended to be basically the almost the same foods that you had during Thanksgiving, mm. like turkey, um, roast mashed potatoes, roast beast. The, those kind of things. Ham? But a new tradition, yeah, ham. Um, like sweets wise, there was you can always expect those like snowball cookies. They're just like they're like cookies mm. that are made that, yeah. in the powdered donut yeah, or yeah, powdered yeah. sugar um, and then baked. A new yeah, uh, and you reminded me of this with the beef Wellington. Uh, a new tradition is my wife and I we go to. Our friend Joel's mom's house, and she every mom. year has made Shout beef Wellington, probably Janet. Um, I don't know. Potatoes au gratin, and hell yeah, um, gratin or gratin? Au gratin. Gratin. That's gratin. what I always hear. Yeah, I always hear gratin. gratin. Um, bread pudding and a whole bunch oh, of stuff. Jeez. So, Kills it. Bread pudding. Yeah, it's super good, and it's just a small group of people, and Aww. yeah, good stuff. And we always do uh, Christmas poppers, like um, popping explosives. There's, no, there's like this thing Popcorn? that you pull and it pops and inside are presents. Oh. Little things like they have that can in, opener. In, in, it's, it's, uh, chocolate uh, alcohols? British. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. It is. Mm-hmm. I hate those. Sure. Crackers. Oh. I think they're called. No, the little chocolate alcohols. No. I hate those. Chocolate alcohols? Yeah, no, oh, I don't like My those. mom gives me that every year and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> it's literally like a chocolate little bottle filled with whiskey. Sounds awful. It's not yeah, great. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan either. I ate one of those by accident when I was seven, and it uh, ruined it. I don't, yeah. mind, I don't mind them, but I, I'll, I'll only have like one. I don't. But think I don't. Ever... I don't mind it because I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's all Remy, baby. All Remy. No. Nope. Uh, for me, it is. Uh, it is becoming making eggnog. Like 
I've only scratch. done it wait, once. Wait, it's can we so make your eggnog and then make it hard and then Ollie it's a new experience? Ollie knows us so many things he's supposed make to make. a video of it. Ollie actually. always talks about food to us, about yeah. these amazing things that he I makes. Because I can't eat any never, of them right now. So fucking the time of giving, motherfucker. You just said you Fair liked. Enough. He'll never bring them to us. It's never going to happen. But no, you know what? Eggnog. I'm marking my words right here. You guys you guys can, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing it on witness camera. Witness this lie on witness camera. This lie. There's a lot I mean, of witnesses to this. Witness me! I thought you were going to say live, and I started to say it with you, <laughs> and then you said lie, and then I also said lie. <laughs> you admit to the lie? Live on camera, uh, not a Freudian slip. Uh, uh, eggnog. I'll make it from scratch. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right, Harvey Two-Face. Uh, so. <laughs> no, Maybe we you got to make it me. here. So yeah, make it here. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You sit on I think a I can make it here. Lies. It might involve a stove though. Uh -huh. We can get a oh, hot plate. There is we one. can do we can shoot in the kitchen. There we go. Um Christmas content. For me, my dad, uh my dad loves to be unfucking conventional and he'll sometimes just make fucking crab or lobster or random shit. Can I be around for that? No. One? Uh okay. or sometimes he'll make steaks or sometimes he'll just like Thanks. like one year he made Thank a you. fucking like roasted like beef and it was really dope. Um I feel like we're actually bringing up a lot of like Tom's like really horrible memories. So now yeah. he's just getting angrier yeah. as this no. episode goes uh, on. But then my mom, <laughs> yeah, she'll fucking make some yeah. pillow. Yeah. And shout uh, out to Chris, Shout out world. to Kyron who asked it's like, where can I go get pillow at a restaurant? You know what? You fucking can't. Because really? in restaurants, at least in like some spots, it's like it's really hard. It's like literally the only way I could kind of say it's like southern home foods. Yeah. Like you can't buy it in a store. Oh. You can't capture um, like, what it really like also takes you, forever to make. You gotta learn how to make it. Now. In Thai restaurants in LA, you could definitely probably find it. Maybe not as good, but you could find it. In Sacramento, fucking no, just uh, pad thai, pad si, fucking basic shit. You gotta learn this year how yeah, to make I'll it. Find out. Um, but this year she's actually gonna. She's like, I'm gonna make you spare ribs. I'm like, sure, because it's like the Asian spare ribs, so they're like little tiny yeah, ones. Yeah, short uh, ribs. Yeah, and so uh, describe polo for those who don't know. It's a brown soup uh, that has uh, steamed egg in there. It'll typically make mainly out of like pork shank or pork shoulders. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you can put tofu in there. Uh, there's typically no veggies in there, but it's like made out it's of like super this. hearty. It's and super like, savory and, sweet. and sweet, and it's just and the meat just dissolves. Yeah, like it's like it's False so soft part. that it's almost a jelly, and yeah. then you just kind of like. Yeah, it's gone. That's uh, why I think you can't find it in places because it's, it's got. It's well, just, it needs twenty four hours. It to needs make. a long time. Oh wow, it's twenty four. But it was, you could find ramen in places. Yeah. Right? What if I make a fucking polo store or like a shop? Oh, yeah. Fuck. There you go. Learn how uh, to make it this year. I'm telling you. <laughs> telling me. I'm telling you. Because oh, I told you. Um, but no, my mom typically would like to make a bunch of shit like food and all this stuff. But no matter what, I'm always like, I, I could go for some polo because that's like a, like a very childhood. Is she thing. aware of how much I Comfort. loved it? I told her I was like, my friend likes it. Uh, no, wow. so <laughs> the answer it? is no. So no, I need to write her a letter. She yeah. also doesn't hasn't <laughs> met you yet, so she can't. It's like some person with now without a face that you've never seen likes it. She's like, okay. Well, you need to repair. Well, two my things mom then. knew all about you before she met you, so you need to fix two things. No. Yeah, my mom d like barely knows how to use an iPhone. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, but she can cook good food. So, but then sometimes she'll make a curry and stuff like that too. So she also likes to go off the beaten path of like just not making American food. So I'm like, I'm used to everything and anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, want to cool. go to the last topic? Let's yeah. Favorite experience. Favorite, favorite experience. Yeah. Wow. I got, I got one. Like I want to, I want to, I'll jump on it just so yeah. kind of give everyone Magical. some uh, uh, a test. Uh, do it, do it. Um, it's not like oh, this is the be buy all, be all because I remember one ex girlfriend that I dated. I got her a fucking laptop, and then she got me like five. And I, she was like, I got to compete with you, and oh. I was like, don't do that. But that means she also gave me a don't do that. But she B. gave me the Batman uh, Dark Knight Trilogy Blu-ray. Oh. And then it was so funny because I remember one day, like, I was like, hey, what's up with that? And she's like, fuck. And I was like, what? She's like, that's your gift. I'm like, well, hi fucking wrap it up then. <laughs> but um, no, my favorite experience I can remember is because- she left it out unwrapped? Yeah, because we were, like, dating. So we were, like, hanging out. And then she's like, got it in the mail and then fucking, like, left it out there. And I like, picked her up. Anyways. Uh, I remember I was a kid and I was visiting LA. I don't know why. I don't know, what, like, what year specifically, but it was I was young and I fucking still love Beast Wars. I'm going back to Beast Wars. And I remember like my parents were like, Yeah, we're visiting your other family and all that stuff. It's like there's no presents this year. I was like, okay, fine, whatever, right? Because we were broke, so whatever. Um, but then like my mom was very big on like spoiling us. It's like, you know, these are my kids. Who else am I going to spoil? My dad's always like, fucking save, they should get a 401k now and shit like that. Um, <laughs> Jeez. For real. Uh, but then my mom like convinced my dad to go like sh make go shopping. 
for me. And so, like, he took me and my sister out shopping. And I remember he was like, pick one thing. And I remember I was like, if I can have one fucking thing. I remember going to when KB Toys was still a thing. Oh, KB Toys. Yeah. And I remember p- picking out fucking Optimal Optimus. Yeah. From Final oh, Beast yeah. Wars. And that's, so everyone at home, Ooh, don't know. Optimals. Optim- op- Optimize. Optimal Optimus from Beast Wars was the third form of Optimus Prime he in there. He dope as shit. And that was, was like, like the king of toys He as was, far as was so concerned. big. And he could transform to three different things. Transformer toys were dope. Dope. They were dope. awesome. Uh, they were very neat. And uh, I just remember having that, and I was like, well, my life Which one complete. did you have, Caitlin? None. Yeah. yeah. No. My Christmas have been better They than were this. neat from afar <laughs> because I didn't have them. Um, I should fucking bring my, I had that My equivalent one. was the uh, Power Rangers. Uh, set. The, uh, what? The set? Like the, all the figures? The droid. The Megazord. Oh, Megazord. Transforming Megazord. It went apart into all the different dinosaurs. Oh, that's I still cool. have it. Um... I'd say my favorite experience, though, was probably either the first time I did Beef Wellington with my family. So pretty recently, um, no? Yeah, that would be, this will be the fifth year, fourth year we've done it. Um, oh, wow. My dad worked in a restaurant for 20 years, the Hilltop Cafe. Very uh, classy. Bougie. Shwe- yeah. Restaurant. Snazzy. Um, and one of his biggest compliments he says about food is that it's restaurant quality, meaning it could be served to people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I made it. I finished it. I didn't know about that saying uh, until a few years back, where he said it, and my mom was like, "That is the highest compliment he gives." And I was like, "Excuse me." He's this is like, dad, yeah, dad. This is dad, dad. Uh, and he said, "Yeah, restaurant quality." And I was like, "Holy shit! I That's did awesome. it. Nailed it." Um, so I think it was either either that or when I was really young, my, all my grandparents used to live in the same town, and so we would spend the day hopping from. Grandparent to grandparent with different traditions. And one of my favorite mm-hmm. ones was my grandma Diane, who just recently passed this year. We would go to her house, and she had a Mickey Mouse ornament that she would hide in the tree. And the first one to find it would be the first one to get. She made gin fizzes, but she'd make us virgin gin fit. No, yeah. no gin. So it's like an orange. Sure, sure, sure. Orange. <laughs> it's like an <laughs> like orange, orange fizzy kinda. milkshake. Oh, oh wow. Vanilla, orange great. vanilla. I've never actually heard of that. Oh, it's so good. I'll make them this year. Oh, I made one for go. Tom, actually. Are you lying to me like Ollie lies to me? Not at all, because okay. I actually do it. Which, uh, which, which food item was it that he lied to wow. you about? <laughs> all of them? Uh, and so, oh, so he's not it was a Mickey Mouse that we'd had to find the tree. But then as we got older, obviously the Mickey Mouse was very, very easy to find because it stuck out. Yeah. So she found an ornament of a pickle. <laughs> and she would hide that in the tree. <laughs> and that was our tradition for like years. Just going to find the pickle. Get an That's ornament up. that is a... Um, like a branch? Tree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was essentially that. And we could not find it the first year. We were like, what the fuck? Or the ornament? Because she didn't tell us what it was. <laughs> she was like, there's a new one hidden in there. You got to find it. We're like, what the hell is this? But oh, and you had like, to know. You had to be able to all the determine way the which bottom, one was new. All the way in. And I was like, oh my God, I wow. see it. Wow. Um, like playing I Spy And 3D. now I have that ornament. Yeah. So oh, we're nice. well excited to carry that oh. tradition out. Um, That's wild. My, I mean, one, one Christmas tree related tradition real quick. Bonnie and I, anytime we go somewhere, like travel, like we're, uh, let's say we went to San Francisco, we get a Christmas tree ornament. And so our, our tree now is like, a, that's how we mark map. things. Uh, it's like, oh, that ah. we have an ornament that's baby's first Christmas. That was our first Christmas together. Um, <laughs> Did you guys um, have a baby? No, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get one for each of the dogs? Their first They're Christmas? each other's baby. Uh, no. As we look Santa back and we go, baby. Hey, we done that. Yeah, um, you just don't love them. It's fine. I mean, it's true. Wow. Um, Still the one for the cat. Yeah. <laughs> the Severs. Um, my favorite experience during the holidays is actually my honeymoon because we went during Christmas. Uh, mm-hmm. We were in Ireland during Christmas. And uh, that that's right. country shuts down. For Christmas. For Christmas. Yeah, because they're all Catholic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so Shut down for what? You can't. Okay, so on Christmas Eve, we happened to be at a bed and breakfast. And they were like, well, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. So we're going to make you like this, like three course, five course meal. Holy shit. Whoa. And, Damn. Um, which was a lot of fun. Must and then nice. Christmas Day, we were in Killarney. That's where you had the blood sausage or whatever it was. Blood uh, No, that was pudding. different. They actually Sorry. made like actual like, it was like turkey and stuff like oh, that. But more for blood. Christmas, because the country shuts down, it's like 6 p.m. Nowhere is open. But a Chinese food place. Hell oh yeah! <laughs> you know why? So Christmas in Killarney know was that's Chinese business. food. Hell yeah! Um, and it the was the only Jewish people in there on Christmas. were Americans. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. They're very good at calculation. Yeah, I will give a shout out though uh, to my wife. Every year makes 
vodka and applesauce. Oh, oh. greatest vodka thing in the world. Hell yeah. Wow. Or a little oh. sour cream if you want. Mm. And I was going to say, uh, jumping on Corey's a little bit of uh, celebrating Hanukkah. Uh, our friend Netta would always have like a party, and that Hanukkah was always party. really fucking dope. Yeah. Um, and I would get really fucking smashed during those times. Uh, so not great, but great. At the same time. <laughs> yeah. You became great, closer with Netta at one of those parties. I became closer with a lot of people. So we're all taking care of Tom. Wow. Right? So good. I didn't want anyone to take care of me. <laughs> but we did because we care. That's what Christmas is about. And Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Yeah. Kaylin? Uh, I can't think of mine. Oh, Ollie, do you have I can one? go. Uh, what do you think? Uh, mine is pretty much what I, what, what I would say cemented. Um, I, I couldn't believe I couldn't think of this before we start recording, but it's pretty much the single experience that made me realize that I need to do whatever in my power to make sure that I maintain the Christmas tradition within my own family, whatever that is when I get a wife. And okay. Kids Hallmark over. movie. And it let was, him finish. And it is going to be Hallmark because that him Hallmark finish. movie has a corporate sponsor, which is Starbucks. So it was me. <laughs> Working at Starbucks, wow. but it was it was 2007 holiday 2007. And Shout it was, out to my graduating year, nice. And it was Bond. the year that I also had just started working Starbucks that same year. In that year, I got promoted to supervisor and then moved to open a new store in a city that didn't have a Starbucks at all. Oh, oh. So, so that was a challenge unto itself because people were, were like asking us for drinks that they got in a different local shop that we don't have. Um, you know what I mean? Like yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Which is whatever. That that part is whatever. But the, the real magical part of it was the fact that I was a supervisor and our manager was very much like, hey, while I'm not gone or while I'm gone, this is your store. So I had a very big sense of ownership to our store because it was new. I was one of the first supervisors in there. And like- Is that the best Christmas just, gift you had at a store? Kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> but it was decorating- for Christmas because oh. we got the the holiday transformation kit and all that stuff and we were putting our stuff down. Got the red cups that people got mad about. That's also the year that I started listening to KT Tunstall and I think it's the year she released Christmas um, album. Not her Christmas album but Cherry Tree. Drastic Fantastic. Just her, her album that I love. Her anti-Christmas album. Yeah. She's <laughs> adamantly against it. <laughs> uh, she's, there she's, is a war on Christmas. She's Scottish. Led by KT. <laughs> she's wow. Scottish so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, that. that's a good experience. I like but that. yeah, it was just like being around and because I was a supervisor, I could go change the music to her to that album whenever I wanted. And like, of course, we're selling it in the store. So of course, it's playing right. all day. So I could just, and it was so just it was like, a good day. it was a KT Tunstall good. magical Star. like holiday. Every day I would and come in. And she came into the store. And she came into the well, store. And then that's there, when I knew. <laughs> on a big black horse <laughs> oh, and a cherry on, tree. On Christmas Eve, there was a big fire and then he but put I mean, it out by himself. This. I mean, and I mean, here's the picturesque thing. It's like five o'clock in the morning is when I get up is and I head over no probably earlier I, I get there at 5 30 at the store like it's snowing it's cold but once you're inside it's a little bit warmer you set the heat it's quiet you, you and one other person you're like brewing the fresh coffee you're having hot cocoa like it's very warm and cozy like yeah. to the max hmm. you lost me at get there at 5 30 <laughs> uh, that's yeah, the point you lost that was me just at. me working at starbucks and at that point it was a weird spot because it was like you're i was like, fine with that it. But then also I would come home at like 1.30 and then sleep for like three hours, oh, which wow. was also not healthy. And yeah, then get up yeah, and go to uh, sleep Go to sleep at night. I did it for a minute. I walked late. dogs. I had to wake up at 4.30. To get yeah. I didn't go about it the, the best way, but it worked. And it was sorry. like, it wasn't as bad as you think it might so be. So Ollie's story is uh, Hallmark. Brought starring, to you by Starbucks. <laughs> starring Vanessa Kaylin, Hudgens. It's your, your last one. Um, pretty much just like eating breakfast in the mornings before before all the presents Eating blood happening. Curds. Not at all. That Christmas um, breakfast. Yeah, just like no one's really like we're all just like tired waking up Happy and just crisis. eating and uh, anything special in that breakfast? Not really. Like it changed. More the experience of it's it. It's more the experience. It was just quiet, some talking, no talking, whatever. Just waking up before all the like madness of Christmas. Mm -hmm. Before yeah. the living room is strewn with wrapping like, paper. Uh, yeah. and yes. One of my favorite things on Christmas breakfast is egg casserole. Have you ever oh, had one of those? Nope. Anyone? We call them hangover eggs. No. My mom nice. does. But it's just, it's literally like a casserole dish and you mix eggs, cheese, sausage, and mushrooms. Hmm. And then Ooh. you just pour it in and you bake that for like oh. half an hour. Wow. Interesting. And That's then good. you can take like blocks of it out. It's, My dad used awesome. to make. Oh, um, I've had you that. You top it with cheese. Yeah. 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 It's just in a casserole dish. There's a recipe for that on 24-hour fitness m m machines. There wow, is a recipe great. for that in the Random recipe place. book my grandma gave me. And she titled them. Hangover eggs, because that's what my mom used to call them <laughs> when she was growing up. Wow. My, my dad used to make tater tot casserole. Oh, but that then sounds delicious. Now you could make bologna bowls. 
We just yeah. need to do an, an, another episode on food. Yo, anyway. mukbang! Uh, let's do the mukbang. Yeah. And we have to make them and have them on the show. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll Bring it with, in. Let's start with Bring your eggnog. <laughs> start with my eggnog. Yeah. 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 First, you need to not uh, sit on your you throne of lies. You heard it here first. <laughs> can we make a cookbook and it's just like, not pictured, Ollie's food? <laughs> yes. Yes, we can. Here's how you make My it. section yes, is, just, please. is just blank yes. pages. It's just text. It's just text. Sad. I feel complete. About it. I feel complete. I feel complete. I'm completing. I'm cozy. Right I'm warm. Why? I'm warmly completing. Very complete, miss. Happy holidays, Happy everybody. Yes. Happy fistmas. Ha- oh, I <laughs> hope love you it. all are cozy and, and have <laughs> fun. Can we have a shirt, Ali? No, Happy fistmas. No, we can't. Ha- Home for the Happy if you want a sh- If you want a shirt that says Happy fistmas. Breaking through Don't those ask glass for ceilings. it because we'll probably do it. Talk yep. about it with us directly over on Patreon, which you can be a part of over on Discord or Patreon. And you can get to the Discord by joining the Nerdon Nation. Yes. Nerdon.io. Can we have a shirt that says I'm da, da, completing? Da, ding. No. That's where I draw the. I wore the white pants today. Uh, take, take us out. Take line. us out. I'm Josh. serious. We do need to make am... the Nerdon branded condoms that say I feel complete. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Or but it says happy fist. <laughs> I'm. It's it's partially true because we we've, we've already we've already uh, sneak peeked a little bit of uh, future merchandise. We do over, have some stuff. Some we, we've been wear. over at the Patreon. Yes, we've been talking to the to those folks perhaps about them, trying to maybe get getting some of their opinions. So if if you want to be in on the behind the scenes, of you get some to of that you stuff, get to decide. In fact, some of the polls that we took on Patreon decided what merch came out. It did so. yeah so, but um bum ding mm. yeah everybody did the thing click the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Smash, c- comment, subscribe, my butt, and uh, rate. Enjoy uh, your fistmas. So thank fist. you all for listening. Thank you all for listening. Let us know what your holidays traditions are, your experiences, all the fun stuff of your holidays. What, where we would love to hear from you. What other holidays you celebrate that's not the traditional ones you have? Yeah. Yes. Um, but yeah, if you're new to NerdOn, check out our website, nerdon.tv. It has all the information about all that we do. Um, Ba-dum-bum. You can reach Ding. out to us on any social media. Just reach out. Let us know. Touch someone. Comment. Um, recently, we had an experience with a fan where they gave us some feedback, and we love hearing that kind of stuff. So reach out to us. We love hearing from our fans. Uh, share us with your friends, your family. That guerrilla marketing does help us. Uh, rating and reviewing on wherever you listen. Stitcher, Spotify, iHeart, Apple. Share, Just, share it with a person that you love this holiday season. I know yeah. if we got a review, that would be my warm, fuzzy holiday feeling. Yeah. No one cares about y'all. Wow. <laughs> is it all you? Tom is it all you? That's what I heard, too. I heard no one cares I was like, about y'all. I was like, no one cares about y'all. Caitlin's Thanks, cock. Tom. Just going, fuck off, Ollie. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> On that warm, fuzzy note, <laughs> I'm complete. <laughs> you know the drill. As always, Merry Christmas. Ending broadcast.